Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. Nothing says eternal love like a shotgun pina colada infused wedding ceremony. Today on our space, a cheater's little vacation with her coworker turned out to be more than just a getaway. My 22 male girlfriend, 23 female, wants to keep her affair baby. My girlfriend had an affair with a coworker, 30 male. She even went on a seven day vacation with him. After she told me about her affair, she begged for mercy and we went into counseling. She blocked him on everything and she showed me that she wanted to fight for our relationship. Three months into our reconciliation, we were doing great. I even told her that I wanted to have a baby with her someday and then her face went pale. I asked her what was wrong and she told me that she was pregnant. It was from the affair partner. I was obviously angry and asked her to have an abortion or put the baby into adoption, but she wants to keep the baby and making me the dad. I want to be a father, but I want it to be my own child, not someone else's. Should I leave her or should I try to convince her to abort? Edit for more context. We have been together for four years. We started as roommates because she needed money to pay her house. The affair lasted two months. She confessed the affair to me after a working trip. The affair partner told her to leave me for him. She got scared and left him. She confessed everything to her family and mine as a gesture of reconciliation. Updated comment. I have an update. The affair partner doesn't exist. I followed the suggestion I read here about another possible social network and all seemed fine. It was all because the supposedly affair partner, male 30, doesn't exist. It was my brother, 24 male. I will confront her when she comes home from work. I'm effing destroyed right now. Congratulations, OP. You're an uncle. Why would you want to stay with someone who cheated on you then confessed but made up some fake affair partner with the hopes that you wouldn't find out the baby belongs to your brother? Ah, the classic tale of love, lies, and genetic surprises. It's like a twisted plotline straight out of a Tarantino film. So your girlfriend's little vacation turned out to be a less romantic getaway and more field trip to the land of betrayal. And now, the cherry on top. She's not just expecting a bundle of joy, but a bundle of joy with a side of sibling rivalry. Talk about keeping it all in the family. But hey, who needs DNA tests when you can just host your very own episode of Guess Who's Your Daddy? Update 1 So yesterday, I posted this asking for suggestions and help. Someone in this Reddit told me about another social network that they could be using, so I followed his or her suggestion and went through her laptop. Worker, affair partner, 30 male, doesn't exist. The real affair partner is my brother, 24 male, and it's been going on for more than two months. They have been making fun of me, my body, and my insecurities behind my back. They've been making all kinds of stuff in my house where I was working outside. I work as a cook, but that's not the tip of the iceberg. They got married during that seven day vacation and the worst of all, my parents knew about this as well as her family. They were sending photos of each other. I found all this looking through all her chats. She didn't add my brother, but I know it's him because of the photos and some of the things that only he knows. Well, I waited for her to come back from work. I was feeling, and I'm still, broken and really hurt. Once she came back, I asked her immediately about this. She just smiled and told me that she was tired of pretending, that she only stayed with me until the lease was over and that the child was my brother's. I packed up my stuff and left. I'm now with my big sister. She is as shocked and hurt as I am. She's been calling my parents, brother and girlfriend all day. My parents are the only ones who tried to contact me, but I didn't answer. I will cut off my parents and brother. Thank you for all the support. I'll update if something else happens, but right now, I will just try to calm down. Let's get a quick relevant comment from the community. What the actual F? My brother, it's time to go scorched earth. Expose them online to everyone they know. Your friends, coworkers, everyone. Does her family know? The OP replies, her parents do know about it. They were there with my parents. Update number two. Hi, it's been three days since everything exploded. I have been really sad and depressed during these days but I'm with my sister and that's making me feel better. For people who are reading this first, my girlfriend cheated on me and married my brother behind my back. Then she left me. She is pregnant with his child and my parents and hers know about this. I have to answer some questions I received. One, you slept with your girlfriend after she told you about the affair? No, I didn't, but I did sleep with her when she was married to my brother. I still don't know why they would do that. Two, does the rest of the family know? No, but I already told them even my ex-girlfriend family, the only person who knew were my parents and hers. Three, did your sister know? No, she has been like an outcast from my family. 
She is lesbian, so my family doesn't like her that much. She has always been there for me. She's my best friend. Now with the update. I have been staying with my sister these last three days. I have been really depressed, but she was with me all the time. We even played some cyberpunk. I had to leave my job because my sister didn't trust me with a knife in my hands at this moment. I had attempted suicide before. She told me what my parents told her. They want to meet with me to explain everything. She told me that I didn't need to do it if I didn't want to, but I want to know everything. So I have met with them this Friday. I want to take some things from my previous house and my brother was there with my ex, my sister, who came with me in case something happened, almost punched him. He has been repudiated from most of my family, as well as my parents. So that's the update. My family keeps breaking and I'm looking forward to confronting my parents. Thank you for your good messages and the bad too. My sister is reading me your comments and I'm happy with your suggestions. Well, let's get a couple more of those comments, shall we? The first person says, all I will say is, garbage always ends up in a pile and those two pieces of trash deserve each other. You dodged a major bullet by not procreating with that demon. As for your brother, well, consider him dead to you. As for your parents, whatever verbal diarrhea they will spew now won't really change what happened. And if you do decide to continue to have a relationship with them, well, that is up to you. God bless your sister and may your bond with her never be broken. The OP replies, I will take my sister with me. I don't trust my parents anymore and having her with me makes me feel safe and secure. A commentator warns the OP about his parents trying to manipulate him. Have the sister there to support OP during the meeting with the parents. The OP replies, they were looking and my brother giggled. When my sister heard that I had to hold her, she was really mad. She has always been protective with me. Since I am the little one, she is a family member who is more closer to me since we were kids. One, she told me that she would be with me, so I don't worry about that. Two, I've had a strange relationship with them since their reaction when my sister came out as lesbian, so I don't expect them nothing less to try and manipulate me. Thank you for your concern. Forget about pina coladas and sun-kissed beaches. These two lovebirds opted for a more unconventional souvenir from their getaway, a lifelong commitment built on lies and deception. At least your sister's got your back though, OP. She's ready to throw down with anyone who dares to mess with her little bro. Thank goodness you have her. She sounds like a solid force in your life, OP. And as for your parents, well, I'm sure they're just thrilled to have front row seats to the spectacle of their children's dysfunction. Here's to you, OP, bravely soldiering on through the minefield of family betrayal. But do you really think anything good will come from trying to confront your parents? Be careful, OP. They sound like the worst kinds of people. Before the meeting. In two hours, I will be seeing my parents. I've been feeling pretty uneasy all day. I prepared some questions and a recording device. Update three. Context. For people who are reading this first, my girlfriend cheated on me and married my brother behind my back, then broke up with me. She's pregnant with his child and my parents and hers knew about this. So yesterday, I went to meet my parents with my sister. I was all prepared. Questions, a recording device, and I wanted some answers before going no contact. Some people here advised me not to go and I should have listened to them. Once I arrived there with my sister, my parents were mad that she was there with me. I told them that they were in no position of making demands. Then they tried to make an apology that didn't sound like one, but I just asked them the first question. So how long did you know about this? They were quiet, but then my father said that they were leaving their own house for them to make their deeds. Can you imagine? I was not hurt, I was furious. I knew that my brother was the golden child, but this just infuriated me. I just kept asking them questions and I discovered that the first who discovered the affair was my ex-girlfriend's dad. Then he contacted my parents and that four of them met with my brother and my ex and the six of them came with the idea of the blissful lie, words of my dad. They didn't want to hurt me, but they thought that my brother and my ex would be happier together since they decided to betray me in the first place. I was really furious with that. My sister was really pissed too and she started screaming at my parents. Then my brother came. My sister and I went quiet and my mom started making stories about mending things and being there as an aunt and an uncle for the baby. My sister was angry and said that she wouldn't be there for that kid. Then my brother said something like, this will be the only child you'll ever have related by blood. My sister went silent and I punched him without thinking. It's the first time I punched someone and I couldn't be happier to be honest. My brother started bleeding from his nose and my parents started yelling at me. I just told them that they had lost two children and we left. Now I'm here in my sister's house and my hand hurts, but I'm happy for protecting my sister and myself. 
I will start therapy soon, and I'm thinking of joining the gym too. But as long as I am writing this, my bad thoughts are less common, so I think that's great news. This is the fourth time I tried to post this update in the subreddit. Edit. All my family knows about what happened. My ex's family too. I sent them the chats between my brother and my ex. I even sent the recordings of my meeting with my parents. Update. Feeling down. It's been a week since my confrontation with my parents and nothing has happened. I've just been feeling down lately. Without force and just tired. I've seen my post in the other sites and most of the people make fun of me and called me a bad writer. This is not fiction. I don't know how to prove it. Should I put images of the text I found? I'm just tired. A little update. My brother and my parents have pressed charges against me for breaking my brother's nose, so another bad news to the collection. I'm looking for proof to see if I can sue them back for everything they did to me. I will update soon with information. Thank you for all your kind messages. I'm still feeling down, but like Elton John said, I'm still standing. A positive update. Hello. I've been reading your comments and your messages. Thank you. It really helped me. I've been feeling down, but now I feel kind of good. I've contacted with a lawyer who recommended me not to take action against my family yet. His suggestion was wait until the trial to defend myself with the proof I gathered and then sue them back. I will have to be in court the 21st of January, so I have more time to think about everything. My sister and I started the paperwork to change our surnames, so we will still be family, but only the two of us. I will go this Christmas with my sister, her girlfriend and her family, so at least I won't be alone during the celebrations. My sister and I adopted two dogs too. One is old, 13 years, and the other is younger, two years. So now I have more company. Thank you for all the kind messages and sorry for the constant updates. I just need to write it and see your positive messages and your suggestions are helping me a lot. I'm very grateful and I consider you more family than my blood related one. Now let's get a, another relevant comment. A user writes, F them OP, it's completely absurd that parents press charges against a son. Move on, relying on your sister, and go full no contact to all of them. The OP replies, That's my plan. I wanted to get away from them and never see them again. The only motive I would see them is to make a paternity test on the baby and nothing more. New Year's update, January 2nd, 2024. First of all, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Now I have something to tell before the update. During this days, I have seen that my story has reached YouTube. My sister told me, but they made up some details like I was unable to impregnate anyone because I was sterile. <laughs> Another video was telling something about my ex-girlfriend having an addiction. Even made up some legal stuff. I don't like that at all. So please don't make up things about me or anyone. Another thing. Thank you to everyone for your comments during this time. I know I said it would update regularly, but I had lots of things going on. I have been able to talk to people around the world. It's something I didn't expect, but makes me happy to know that I have people who worry about me. Update. My sister and I have already chosen a new surname for us. It will be Moreno. In Spain, it is the tradition that the bastards have a nickname based on physical traits. And since we both have black hair, we chose Moreno. I have been talking with my lawyer and my sister about my court case. We have all prepared, but my lawyer suggested me to prepare and gather more proof. So I'm contacting some family so they can back me up. About the vacations. Well, it's been sad, but at least relaxing. I went with my sister and her girlfriend to the city of Vigo. We have been there for two weeks, and it has been the first Christmas without my parents and my brother. My ex, too, but I have been doing Christmas with my family since forever. The day of Christmas Eve, we were with my sister's girlfriend's family. They are from Vigo, and I felt kind of out of place. Not because of them, but I felt kind of numb, and I felt jealous of their relationship. My sister kind of noticed this and tried to cheer me up. I felt bad for making her worried about me. That night I didn't go out to celebrate because I felt really sad about everything, so I stayed at my sister's girlfriend's house and watched TV. The funny part is, is that I made friends with the grandparents. They were really nice to me, and after telling them my situation, they gave me really good advice and made me feel better with myself. This New Year's Eve, I was thinking of doing the same, but this time my sister made me go with her, her girlfriend, and her girlfriend's cousin to have dinner and watch the countdown. I felt again like out of place, but one of my sister's girlfriend's cousins was very talkative with me. She had just ended a really toxic relationship and my sister was trying all the time we were there to make me talk with her. That made me a little anxious at the beginning, but we ended up kissing at the countdown. I am not ready to have a relationship. I told her so, and she understands. We are just friends. I mean, we met on Christmas Eve, but we have only started talking for five days at this point. We returned yesterday to my sister's house and I still feel kind of numb about everything. It has been a weird Christmas, but 
kind of warm too. That's all for now. Sorry for not having much to say. Nothing like discovering your girlfriend married your brother behind your back and parents were apparently the wedding planners. And then there's your parents pressing charges against you for breaking dear brother's nose because nothing says loving family quite like a good old fashioned legal battle, right? Well, it might not be the happy ending we wanted, but it's a start OP. You're not letting the drama get you down. With a new surname and a fresh outlook, you're ready to take on the world. And hey, maybe love will even find its way into the chaos. After all, stranger things have happened. What would you have done? Thank you for joining us today on Our Space. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. Until next time.